Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're talking about the new king of drills, okay? Or are we talking about the new king of drills? That's exactly what we're here to find out. We're gonna be testing this Flex flagship drill with these brand new Flex stack lithium batteries and see if it can take the top spot on the leaderboard or how close it comes, you know, compared to all the other tools we've tested so far. So you do not wanna miss this, stick with us. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go out and say this. This is not gonna be a full review of this Flex uh, 1271T drill. We've already done that on the channel. If you want a review of this drill, go check out episode eight um, of the best drills where we actually did the full review of this and tested it with other uh, batteries to see you know, how it really stands up against other tools. Um, just a quick recap, it did not take the first place. It got what maybe like third place or something like that um, with the eight amp hour battery. Anyways. Uh, long story short, we're here to talk about the stacked lithium pout cells today, okay? So just in case you didn't know, uh, a couple months ago, DeWalt and Flex uh, both released stacked lithium pouch cell battery packs for their platforms, right? So DeWalt on their 20 volt max platform released, you know, 1.7 amp hour packs called power stack batteries. And, and on Flex, they released, you know, 24 volt, which is their platform. And I believe they released like 3.5 or something like that. But they, we have here today, six and 10 amp hour stack lithium packs, okay? What that really means, the difference here really is, all the uh, power tool batteries or most of them on the on the market right now all use cylindrical cells they either use 18 650 cells or 21 700 cells to build out those standard packs the benefit to these stack lithium power cells is pretty much allegedly they provide more power faster in a smaller footprint okay and that you know small footprint may beg to differ but that's up to you today we're going to take the stack lithium battery packs from flex six and ten amp hours put it on this flex FX 2171T turbo drill, which is their flagship hammer drill, and see if it can do better than it previously did with all the other battery packs that we tested. Without too much further ado, let's get into testing and then we'll be right back and look at those numbers.
All right, I hope y'all caught those numbers because those numbers went by really, really fast. All right, so just in case you didn't, we're going to recap them anyway. So let's go take a look. So this flex drill with this six amp hour stacked lithium battery, all right, um, five sixteenths inch test comes in. Uh, first run, 1.47, second one, 1.45, third run, 1.38. It was able to complete that on speed two. Average comes out to 1.43 seconds with an average peak torque of 120.33 inch pounds measure, all right? Moving on to the half inch by, or, uh, um, half inch by eight inch lag test, which is the heavier duty test. First run 4.65, second run 4.37, third run 4.33. It did have to do it on speed one, and the average of the three runs comes out to 4.45 seconds with the average peak torque measured of four, or yeah, average peak torque measures are 425.33 seconds. Moving on to three quarter inch auger test where we drill, you know, three quarter inch holes. So first run, a 4.38, second run 4.47. It did do it on speed two. Average comes out to 4.43. Run moving on to the quarter inch masonry test, all right? First run, 3.57, second run 3.82, third run 3.73. Average comes out to about 3.71 seconds. So the peak torque measured across all the tests that we did that we were measuring uh, comes out to about 476 inch pounds. That is a lot of torque. That is not light. This battery or this drill with this battery combination uh, comes in weighing at a whopping six pounds, 1.7 ounces. So that is not a light tool. Okay. Before we move into you know the leaderboard, let's go take a look at what this drill performed like on the test track with this 10 amp hour battery. Okay. Uh, first run 5 sixteenths by 6 inch lag. First run uh, 1.47, second run 1.45, third run 1.4. Speed come, what did it on speed 2. Average of the three runs comes out to 1.44 with the peak torque average coming in at around 1.15 or 115.67 seconds. Sec, uh, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, half inch lag test. Uh, first run 4.28, second run 4.00, third run 4.17. It also had to do it on speed one, and the average of three runs comes out to 4.45 seconds with the peak torque average coming in right around 368.67 seconds. Uh, moving on to the 30 quarter inch auger test. First run 4.5, second run 4.25. It did do it on speed two as you would expect, and the average comes out to 4.38 seconds. Moving on to the quarter inch masonry test. First run 3.58, second run 3.92, third run 3.98. Uh, the average of three runs comes out to 3.83 seconds. The peak torque we measured uh, across the test that we ran on this uh, configuration so far comes in at a whopping 427 inch pounds. So obviously this tool right here is not light or does not look light at least. Um, the weight of this combination right here comes in weighing at a whopping seven pounds 4.9 ounces and i'm just going to go out on a limit and say this because i did not check uh, the entire board so far but i believe this is the heaviest drill that cordless drill that we've tested so far to date on the channel all right so where does that put this drill on the leaderboard. So this drill with the six amp hour lithium pout cells has a total performance score coming in at 10.31 seconds. Bam, that puts this drill and this battery combination in first place, kicking off the Makita GPH-01, which is the XGT 40 volt max hammer drill uh, with the four amp hour battery to second place, all right? So as you would expect, let's go see what the 10 amp hour battery does, right? Probably gonna think that it takes first place. And if you did, you are absolutely correct. The total performance score of this combination you see right here comes in uh, with a score of 9.97 seconds, all right? So now this drill combination and this battery, or this battery and drill combination now is in first place. And then this drill and the six amp hour pack now is in second place. Third place goes to the Makita GPH-01 with the four amp hour battery. And the fourth place goes to the DeWalt DCD-999, which is the uh, flex volt advantage using a nine amp hour flex volt battery. Then we have a two, we have a new leader, in the second place, another new second place leader. Um, so let's go take a look at the numbers real quick and see what's really going on there. So 
uh, the five six ten inch lag test, you know, you would expect that that's pretty light, light duty for you know heavy bit, heavy big duty drills like this. You know, one point four through one point four four. I'm gonna say that's all within the margin. Anyway, we're talking about point zero one of a second there, so there's really no difference there, right? Uh, actually, let's throw up the eight amp hour uh, standard you know round cells and see how that looks like. So the eight amp hour also had an average of around four, one point four three. So I mean, it's all pretty much the same. Moving on to the heavy duty test is where it really makes a difference. The half inch by eight inch lag where we take the half inch by eight inch lag and drill all the way into the glue lamp, glue lamp, you put some quotes around that. Um, you know, it's not a tradition, not a, a manufactured glue lamp. Let's just go with that. Um, the eight amp hour uh, standard lithium cells come uh, on this drill came in at a whopping 5.81 seconds, whereas the standard pout cells, let's say the six amp hour pout cells had 4.45, and the 10 amp hour pout cells had 4.15, all right? So um, light duty test, you know, obviously there's no difference. On a heavy duty test, yes, the stacked lithium batteries will provide more power, especially for peak applications. That is exactly what we have proved here is pretty much what most people have expected, all right? So let's close this video out, okay? Um, we have a new leader, no doubt about that. Are the stacked lithium battery packs a big thing? Obviously they are because they do provide more power. How long they hold up in the long term is what we're really gonna have to see in the industry. You know, they're all fairly new. We don't know, you know, if they catch fire or any of that kind of fun stuff. But you know, I'm assuming most of these uh, larger companies, you know, tool companies have done that research and done that kind of stuff. Uh, Flex actually has what they call thermotech heat management, some type of like gel cooling packs between all the uh, pallet cells and stuff like that. So, you know, I would I wouldn't expect this to really have any problems But like I said only time will tell okay uh, So flex has actually done, you know, pretty something big here They've released or first to market at least with the big high capacity pallet cells Whereas Dewalt was the first to market with the power stack pallet cells, right? But they haven't released anything larger than 1.7 amp hour uh, pack, which I think they're going for really more of you get more power in a more compact size Whereas flex here is really going for let's just give everybody the most power possible right going with this So I don't know if Dewalt's gonna release anything more than a 1.7 amp hour battery using pout cells um, It really depends on how they want to take that company But flex is here to do some serious business and now they have done and take the taking the leader spot on the or, taking a top spot on the leaderboard, okay? So we've now proven it to you. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. Nobody sent this to us. We actually acquired all this stuff with our own monies. So take it for what it may be. I'm only here to give you the numbers, right? So let's talk about that for a second. So this obviously is the top leader uh, <laughs> drill on the leaderboard, but let's be realistic, okay? If we're working, or most of the day, even all day, um, you do not wanna be you know, wiggling this thing around or using this thing <laughs> Um, if, if just doing standard stuff, right? Because this thing weighs in almost seven and a half pounds, right? It's about seven pounds, 4.9 ounces. You know, that, that, that's pretty heavy. Um, most of the stuff that people do, I'm gonna go out and say you know, on the limb here, is gonna be probably be fine using, you know, 3.5 amp hour packs or even five amp hour packs. You do not need this 10 amp hour pack. If you're doing something obviously that, you know, needs ridiculous power, then that would probably be the one to use and you should definitely use this handle, right? Like if you wanna drill a ridiculously big hole with this thing, then yeah, sure, go for it. Or if you're just using it to, you know, earth auger stuff, you probably wanna do that too because right now this is the peak performer um, on the market right at this moment of the posting of this video. So. Hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or anything else, not like that, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Do some great work, and we'll see you guys next time.